Morning, Stacy. Oh, hiya, Barton. What brings you to Shining Time Station? Delivery for the children. New crayons. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, what lovely colors. Dollar fifty-nine a box and a supply of my finest drawing paper. Oh. And, of course, the entry forms for the Indian Valley Coloring Contest. Oh, that's right. The coloring contest is today. Right. Hey, B.W., oh. keep his stuff away, huh? These are not giveaways, Schemer. They were paid for by the children. You know, they could have come to the general store to pick them up. Yeah, well, the general store will be closed today. Oh, uh, close it down the store, huh, B.W.? I knew you were running that place into the ground. You should have followed Schemer's system of success. High prices, low quality. We only close for today, Schemer. And never close up shop when there are customers to take advantage of. I have a very important engagement. So, who doesn't? <laughs> Morning, son. Hey, what's shaking? Going to ride your motorcycle again, Mr. Winslow? This cat is going to put the pedal to the metal in the Freddy Beach Motorcycle Showdown. Wow! What's he talking about? I think Barton is going to be in a motorcycle race. Well, I'm not saying I'm going to win, but I'm sure going to give it my best shot. And now, I'm out of here. <laughs> Hiya, Barton, how was the race? It was totally boss. <laughs> you should have seen me. I was out at the starting gate like grease lightning, way ahead of the pack. Well, there was one cat just ahead of me. I poured on the speed, and there we were, rounding the last bend, neck and neck, and as we were wailing down towards the finish line, I gunned it. He gunned it. Engines roared. Oh, what a gas. He took me. Huh? I lost. Oh. Oh, but we won, we won. Well, we have some real winners here. My drawing came in first. The <gasps> grand champion. Oh. Best action drawing. Hot <gasps> damn picture. Oh. It's you on your motorcycle winning the race. Oh. <laughs> but I, uh, I lost the race, Dad. That's okay. I think it's a really neat day to win the race that off. <laughs> Dad, my man. You are okay. <laughs> Here you go. Now, I'm out of here. Okay. I see, Mrs. Schemer. Schemer's thumb hurts too much for him to come back to work today. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, uh, could, could you please repeat that, Mrs. Schemer? Who did you say you hired to take care of the RK once while she was away? What's the word? Uh, uh, Mrs. Schemer, did you by any chance get Barton Winslow to run the arcade? Well, <laughs> just a lucky guess. Oh, yes, Mrs. Schemer, all right. Hiya, Barton! Hi, Stacy. It's classic. I'm here to run the Schemer's big-time arcade biz, and it's going to be smooth, man. Smooth. Oh, it'll be fun to have you here, Barton, but who'll be running your general store while you're here? Well, currently, my establishment has been slapped with a new jacket. Huh? I think Mr. Winslow means that his store will be getting a new coat of paint. That's the saga, Stacy. That is the whole absolute truth of the tale. You see, when Mama Schemer gave me the word, I figured I'll help the schemer and carry on with my own gig at the same time. <laughs> but enough of this joy. I feel it's, it's time for me to assume the role of new proprietor. Well, well, well. If I've ever seen three people trying to collect dust, this is it. Hi, Billy. We're not trying to collect dust. We were going to play some of the machines. Well, what's stopping you? Look. Ah, now I see. Now, Mr. Winslow is just trying to keep things going the best way he knows how. But it's not my field or team at all. He's just doing things a little different than what you're used to. But don't worry. It'll be fine. You know, Billy could be right. 
Maybe. Now, children, would you mind stepping aside, please? I've, I need to wax the floor. You know, remember that old saying, a clean commercial environment makes for a happy retail outfit. But then, Billy could be wrong. Miss Walter, there must be something I can do to stop this. Oh, dear. We're in the dark! <laughs> What's these bananas doing here? These boots and these chickens! <laughs> Mr. Winslow sort of combined his general store with his, uh, your arcade. May I help you, sir? Have some shades for the arcade, or maybe you'd like to buy some work shoes. Work shoes? I thought that... That this was an arcade, not a general store. That's a little of both at the moment, though. Of course, the general store aspect does seem to be more popular. We've already made more money than when Schema ran things. Really? Yes, really. How could I help you, sir? Um, I don't, I don't think that I... I don't need any help. I must be on my way. I'm a tourist. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, out of the way. Dump me! Here you go! <laughs> Yo, Winslow! Winslow! Schemer? Winslow? The very idea of calling my mommy and saying that you'd buy the whole thing. I wouldn't take your dollar ninety-five if I was down to my last nickel. And another thing. No more cabbage, no more banana, and no more bread. And no more leather. Okie dokie, if that's how you feel. If you can't see that people would rather buy useful things than waste the money on silly machines, that's your problem. Useful things? Let me tell you something. Anybody can sell useful things. It takes a genius to sell non-useful things. And I'm proud to say that this is my non-useful arcade. Well, you can have a schemer, believe me. <gasps> Deal! <laughs> Are you okay about this, Barton? Well, I can tell you what, Stacy. I'm chill, you know, really cool, and you know why? Well, because they just dialed to say that they finished slapping paint on my store, and it's aces, man, aces. Anyway, I'm Splitsville, I'm out of here, and ain't it the truth? <laughs> Bye, Barton. Bye, Mr. Winslow. Uh, you gotta hand it to that old Barton. <laughs> He's got away with them, like a dog has fleas in a rainstorm, and that's a scoop. Well, hey, hey, hey. I'm on my way. Oh, bye-bye. Bye. Schemer, if I hear that you haven't paid anyone... It's Barton Winslow. Hey there, Barton. Hey, what's the word, Ginny? Okay, Schemer, I got that grub you ordered. And it's Drool City. You dig? Wow! Crazy, crunchy, crisp chips. Mmm, pistachio popsicles. And the piece de resistance. A double whammy, triple cheese, cowboy beef burger swimming in relish. Wow. I don't think I can eat those. I just had 15 chili willy bars. Now, ski man, let me lay it straight to you. I don't care whether you eat it or not. You're going to pay me for it. Barton, it's not my place to say, but I have it from a very reliable source that Schemer hasn't paid anybody anything except in IOUs. Is that true, Schemer? You're not paying anybody? I mean, haven't you people ever heard of creative financing? <laughs> Get me uh, out. Uh, hold it, hold it, Barton. This slimy scheming worm is mine first. Oh. What do you mean? He's right here. <laughs> oh. you, ooh. Ooh. Pop me out of a toaster. That weasel took a powder. Barton! Fire up that overgrown paint mixer of yours. We're going weasel hunting. Schemer's in a lot of trouble this time.